day and just learn all about what he does with fish nerds. So Clay, go ahead and let me know and let our viewers know if they've, if they've never seen you on this show before. What is this quest? Well, I should take you all the way back to the beginning. In 2011, okay. my friend Dave, or my very good friend Dave, uh, called me up on the phone and he says, hey Clay, what do you think if this year we spend one year catching every kind of freshwater fish in New Hampshire? And I'm, I said, okay, let's eat them too. And so we had this quest, it was born that day. We're gonna catch and eat every kind of freshwater fish in New Hampshire. We named the quest Catch Em All. Okay, quest to Catch cool. That's my friend Dave uh, on the screen there. We're, we're really good friends. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell, that's great to have a relationship quest. like that. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> but anyway, so we went on this quest to catch. It was a one year quest starting in 2011. Um, we didn't finish it in 2011, so here so we are. So you had to keep going. Yeah, in fact, um, but we thought it was going to be easy. There are 48 species of freshwater fish in New Hampshire. Well, 48 catchable species. Okay. There's a lot of them. There's some dangerous species. There's some fish who just don't eat food. Okay. Like, you know, like parasites, that sort of thing. Right. So you have to kind of, kind of to use some. To go with some, the catchable ones. Yeah. So we call it kind of creative uh, accounting to, to count to 48 species. So we used to fish. Okay. So by the end of the first year, we thought, man, we're so close. We're at like 38 or something. We didn't get it. The end of the second year, we're at like 40. Oh wow! <laughs> so, so here those we last are. Last ten. Three were years really in. Yeah, oh, it's so hard. So here we are. Th three years into the quest, uh, and finally we're catching more fish. By the way, the first fish we caught on the quest, we had to catch through the ice. So we started the fishing quest on the ice, and we caught what's called a burbot, which is this freshwater codfish, native to New Hampshire. Um, they look just like cod. Okay. There's a picture on the screen right there. Nice. And uh, Loda Loda, a fish so nice, named it twice. So they, but this thing looks like if you take an eel and a catfish and mix them all up together. Yeah, that's what, you get. That's what it looks really like. They're really cool, wow. and if you boil them, they taste like lobster. Oh my gosh. So one of our first surprises is fish looked terrible. We boiled <laughs> it up, it looked terrible. We dipped it in drawn butter, and it was awesome. Nice. So, but you should count yourself lucky, because we've come on this show a whole bunch of times with Chris, with Rob, and we've made them eat fish. And I didn't have time to prep anything for you. In fact, on the <laughs> nice screen right now picture. is Chris. Our first visit here, we made him eat a fish called a pickerel, chain pickerel, and we pickled it, a pickled pickerel. So we mostly let alliteration be our guide in our recipes because nice. we're not experts. Do you make chefs. up your own recipes? We invent most of the recipes ourselves. Nice. And we just kind of put them together and hope because of the 48 species of fish, maybe four or five people regularly eat and the rest, okay. no one touches. So we're eating things like minnows and Ooh. carp and <laughs> American eels and sea lampreys and all kinds of fish that you wouldn't normally eat. Uh, on the screen right now, Chris jumped the gun, is our latest no, our second to last fish, okay. a uh, northern red belly dace. And it looks really big on the screen right there. I caught this last week in Colebrook, but uh, this fish actually is probably an inch long. Yeah, you can tell from the from lines hand. on yeah, your hand. Yeah, so there's the next to a quarter. Really hard fish to identify. So what happened was I drove to Colebrook, and I caught this fish with my bare hands. Oh my gosh. And I took a picture and let it go. Because one of the quest rules is we have to catch all the fish on a hook. Oh, Unless wow. a really cool way of catching them. So then I had to come back North Conway and I, I went to um, North Country Angler and I asked them, how would you catch a minnow that's one inch long? And of course they recommend flies, which I don't normally fly fish because mm -hmm. I like catching fish and fly fishing is much harder than fishing. Right, right. So we had them tie, uh, well, tie he sold me these tiny hooks and I tied a tiny fly and a tiny hook and we drove back to Colbert. Chris, can you show a picture of that hook for us? And you can really get an idea of how, how small, small this fishing is. It's called micro fishing. It's a whole wow. different kind of fishing. Never so even that's heard a dime. Wow. And on that dime, you can see the hook. It is teeny. So and I just tied tiny. a white piece of string to that hook. We went back to that pond, threw it in the water, and the fish were still too small for that hook. So they bit the string. I dragged them to shore and landed them that way. Oh my gosh. Which is still barely caught, but we're going to ca ca call it anyway. That's a fine scale of dace and wow. a caught on a fly. And they live in the same habitat, they look the same, and I can't tell them apart, and neither can most biologists. So we caught two fish, we called it two species, and we moved forward. Uh, which sounds like cheating. <laughs> I understand that, but if you can do better, go Right, for if it. somebody else could well, do Well, you it. want how you tell them apart? How? You have to dissect them and measure the length of their intestines. Oh my gosh. And they hybridize, which means they, they, they'll mate together and their babies will look just like them. So you I never think it, know. I think it sounds very reasonable yeah. that you... And we're gonna, and we're gonna <laughs> eat them, but we have no idea how to eat them. Work. So that's the quest kind of in a nutshell. Uh, we gave ourselves one year, it's taken well over one year, but we're still gonna do it. But that's great, though. it's grown from there. The goal was to write a book, which we've done. 
Um, we haven't got it published yet. That's coming midwinter this year. We'll have a book out, which is exciting. Great. Do you have a um, name for your book? It's gonna. We'll, we're, we're working title on okay. that still. But if you want to find out about our book, and it's really important mm -hmm. to us, um, our new website's called fishnerds.com. Go to there, or even better than that, go to Facebook. So a search for fish nerds. Hit the like button. Do it right now. Everybody, go do it. Go to Facebook. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> Pour yourself a cup of coffee. Go like to Facebook. Book. Hit that hit like that button. Because like yeah. um, you'll keep an update on there. The other thing is if, if you're a commuter, and a lot of people are here commute for work, mm -hmm. or if you just like to listen to people talk, we have a podcast nice. called The Fish Nerds. And you can get it on iTunes. And there it is right there, a picture of me and Dave. Um, it's a pumpkin seed listening to us. You can get it on iTunes or off our website at fishnerds.com and download it to your iPod and take it with you on, on the road. Now, you haven't heard of the Car Talk guys, have I you? haven't, but no. I but you can tell everyone else who everyone might else have heard has. of um, them. On, it's on NPR. <laughs> it's a really popular show. No, our show is modeled after that. So if you don't like fish and you don't care about fish, you will still enjoy our show because we talk about real life. We tell funny stories. All kinds um, of stuff. It's a lot of nerdy biology about fish. It's a lot of fit cooking stuff. Uh, last week's podcast, we talked about how to get out of paint in your house. You know, so <laughs> nice. we really wasn't even focused on that, but it's, it, we try to keep it light and funny. Uh, the, one of the really cool features of our podcast, I talk a lot, and I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm going to take over the whole You're interview. You're fine. I know. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Uh, so one of the features of our podcast, though, we have a segment mm. called Stump the Fish Nerds. And what we really need to grow this section of our podcast is for people to call the fish nerds. And it's super easy. All you have to do is call us record on our voicemail, and we'll play it over the air, and we'll answer your fish nerd questions. It could be questions about how to catch a fish. It could be biology questions about fish. I'm a former science teacher, mm -hmm. and Dave and I both know pretty near everything about fish in New Hampshire, at least, and that translates nationally, which is nice. Uh, it could be questions. I had a friend call in this week, which will be on this week's podcast, ask she was cooking trout in her house and she couldn't get the stink out of her kitchen. Oh, that's so, a good question. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah but our number is 607-378-FISH. 607-378-FISH, 3474. And that will kind of get you in there. Leave it at voicemail for us. We'll play it on the air. We'll answer your I fish nerd that. questions. Um, and this week, you'll be able to hear how to get fish stink out of your kitchen. There's an answer. <laughs> it's going to be OK. Great. By the way, the first half is don't cook them in the house. But if you do end up doing that, then we can tell you how to fix it. Yeah, I have snow. most most fish that I've seen cooked have mostly been cooked outside, which makes sense. Right, when well, you, you cook a big trout on the grill, the stink is outside. Exactly. So the bears could enjoy it, but cook it in your kitchen. <laughs> You might have to deal bit. with it, so, yeah. yeah. And I like that you're trying to be stumped, so you want to try tough questions, maybe try to stump the fish. Yeah, but now we bit. have access to experts. So we had a person call in two weeks ago and ask us the best way to cook, he was a guy from uh, Kansas named Scott, how to cook a nice white fish on the grill, like a, um, a filet of cod on okay. the grill. And so we called a chef, and we had the chef call into the show nice. and answer the question. So we will get the answers Gonna for you. Going to get a good answer for Yeah, everybody. and it's fun and interesting. It's a really, really good time. But really, Facebook, iTunes, all, we're super easy to get hold of, and we want people to ask us questions and get involved with the fish nerds. So it's really good. It's awesome. So, so how many fish have you caught? What number are you up to? Okay, so there are 48 species of freshwater fish. We've caught, as of two days ago, we've caught 44 of them. Okay, so and that was four. part of those little guys. That, that was those little, little yeah. Guys? I mean, okay. Catching things like the uh, the chain pickles on the screen, those are easy, super fun to catch. Catching trout are easy and super fun. Sorry, trout guys, but catching a long nose sucker, um, another fish with two two same names, Castronomus, tiny. Castronomus, uh, tiny fish. They do get big, but I couldn't catch a big one. Um, that was hard to catch. It took us a year to catch him, and I knew where he lived. Yeah. That was on the Amanusik River. But so we've gotten 44 species. We're going to try to end on what's called a lake whitefish, the rarest fish in New Hampshire. And wow. Yeah, and it lives in Silver Lake, which is, should be convenient. Mm -hmm. Dave and I have spent countless, actually, I can count the hours. <laughs> <laughs> we've spent hours and hours, hours fishing for this fish, and we keep catching these. Yeah, there's Dave again. We keep catching these, um, you know, trout and bass and pickerel and all the other fish, which are great fun, but they're not the fish we're after. Right. So uh, that's going to be our last fish, hopefully, and we can move on. And our wives will be super happy I that they we be. put this quest behind <laughs> us and get our book out this winter. Right. And uh, it should be really exciting. But we'll how fun that fun. you're taking you know, this thing that you love and you're turning right. it into a book and, and a it, podcast. And, and it's and really website. fun. And you know what's fun for the kids, too, is 
you know, like my kids think that everyone's dad's on a quest to do something <laughs> because that's what I do. So right. like, wow, dad, I wonder what my friend's dad's on a quest for. And I'm like, yeah, probably beer and TV. <laughs> you know, so you never know. <laughs> so we're trying to, we're else. trying to do something a little bigger than ourselves right. and try to leave a legacy behind. And the other thing is trying to teach people to eat a little differently. Maybe thinking about fish a little bit differently. Eat a little lower on the food chain. You know, you can eat a nice smoked shiner on a cracker with a little onion, and it's delicious. Or you can eat a bass, which is delicious, but that bass has to eat hundreds of those shiners to get to the size of that. So if you eat lower on the food chain, you're less environmental impact, hmm. and you're thinking eating more locally, and the rest of the world eats every fish they catch. Right. In, in New Hampshire, it's mostly catch and release, and then we're only eating trout or only eating you know, catfish yeah, or something. Yeah, that's so, interesting. That's something I would have never thought about. So you can learn something new every day yeah. by listening to the Fish Nerds podcast. Yeah, and by the way, week. just because you can eat all the fish <laughs> in New Hampshire doesn't mean you should. There are some fish that absolutely taste horrible. You should just stay away from them. So right. just don't bother. So you can like, learn things like that, too. Well, what like, fish like should you not eat? Slimy sculpin. They live here in North Conway. <laughs> uh, they live on Ars Falls Road. They're a little tiny fish. Looks like a dragon. And they taste like their name. They are slimy. When you bite into their head, Head, ooze comes out in your mouth. Oh. Yeah, I eat the so, uh, <laughs> Thanks for that. They're only about an inch and a half long, and they're awful. Let them go. Okay. Um, but then the other fish are really good. You'll be surprised by some of the fish you can you can eat, and you probably maybe should eat some of them. Mm -hmm. So, but just be careful with um, don't eat any endangered species and that sort of thing. Definitely, so, yeah. yeah. And you can find out all of that information probably with their upcoming book, and go to the Facebook page if you have any questions. Fish nerves. Fish Nerds or go to fishnerds.com. So you can ask Clay all of these questions what fish to eat, what fish not to eat, and check out all of the great information that he has. So thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, no Clay. problem. And when you call up, maybe you want to give Dave a hard time for not coming on the air with me. He's a little shy and he <laughs> makes up stuff. So maybe you want to give him a hard time about that. Yes. Only one of us knows everything. Well, let's, and so. let's throw up that phone number one more time because I know you're looking for people to it's call important. in. Yeah. So can we put that up on the screen one more time, Chris? Is that possible? And that's how we grow, is by people interacting. 607-378-FISH. 607-378-3474. And if you call in today, call now! <laughs> uh, if you call in today, uh, or the next few days, um, actually the next few weeks, we're going to be entering everyone who calls into a contest, and we'll have a big giveaway coming up in a few weeks. So, oh, nice. So ice even fishing more incentive gear. for you yeah. to call in and get your questions You answered. can win ice fishing stuff. And right now, almost no one's calling, so your odds are good. So give us a call. Okay? All right, great. And that's fishnerds.com, or find Fish Nerds on Facebook and say, hey, I saw you on TV. You were awesome, or you were terrible. Whatever it is, put it on there. We can take it. All right. Okay? I love it. All right, thanks again, Clay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and we'll be back with you guys in just a few moments. We're going to be doing some more watch and wins, and we're going to, of course, let you know what's going on all around.